Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Office Bloke Daz. I'm Office Bloke Mike. Here we are, the two of us. Yeah. If Patreon's your thing, check out the link in the description below. Loads of stuff on there, starting for a bargain price of just... Uh, £1.50. £1.50. £1.50 There you go. I had loads of stuff on there, check it out. Uh, a bit of uh, air traffic control. Yeah. I actually like listening to this. They're very good, know, aren't they? When you were younger, did you ever listen to like uh, police radios or anything like that? Uh... Not really, no. Mm. We used no. to get like these, like, uh, I don't know what they were. My dad used to get them, and he was like, you can intercept the police radio. That's right, yeah. Like, it's uh, on, was it on long wave or something like that. Or... He, had, he had like a handheld device that yeah. you could like, get, in, get into them. Maybe my dad was a cop. <laughs> <laughs> Thinking about it. I don't think he was. <laughs> no, me neither. <laughs> <laughs> he might have had something to do with the police, maybe. But... <laughs> that was right, yeah. He assisted the police in a lot of their inquiries. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he was of interest to them. <laughs> <laughs> probably, that's probably rude. why we had this device. So you can find out if you were coming. <laughs> probably, now, you know, now, you, now you mention it. Yeah. But we used to have this device and we used to listen to the police all the time. And I used to sit there for hours just listening to them. Yeah. Just to know the police, not like what they were going on about, where they were going. I think when I was younger, I think I did hear a bit of F traffic control, but there's nothing yeah. like just the regular things and you could hear pilots you just yeah. went near the airport and yeah. people used to well, I, grew up, I grew up right next to the airport yeah literally right, right on the flight path yeah you did it was, yeah. Um, but I've never I've never listened to air traffic control audio yeah. from like on a radio or anything it was always just like what I've seen on here yeah but it's always good to get the interaction between a pilot and a, uh, an air traffic really control really good really, considering the stress you know Clearly, very, very stressful job and a yeah, lot of responsibility in it. Hell of a lot. Some of the things that come out with are quite funny, actually. Yeah. They've got a good sense of humour. But this is this is a tower controller reprimanding a pilot in Phoenix. Or pilots. No, pilots <laughs> in Phoenix, yeah. Let's get into it. Number 550, Mercury, flighting 175, runway 20, cleared for take. He's doing a bit, isn't he? He is a bit. <laughs> Phoenix approach, good evening, America, 1479, Wicket. 14, each approach, two five left. Ah, uh, see what you did there. Went right. No, but you just—I guess two five left is the uh, the runway that they're going to land on. But he didn't yeah. identify his call sign. Ah, he just agreed with him. Two five left. Ah, so, I don't think. I could say I thought he must. I don't know if that's the... why they're going to reprimand him for. By the way, but I'm thinking. Oh, right. Okay. They usually have to give the call sign of I don't know what they you are. You think they, so? Yeah. So they. Yeah. So then the air traffic American, control. What was it? Fourteen seventy nine yeah. or whatever. So now air traffic control know that that pilot is has, the one that's the has taken yeah. on board what mm -hmm. he said sort of yeah. thing and it's got yeah, the so message. You might, you might get a little bit pissy about that. Some of them. Yeah. American fourteen seventy nine two six available tonight. If you like. We will take two six. American fourteen seventy nine. Verify that you. That is American uh, 1479, sorry, we'll, we'll take 26. 1479, expect 26, fly present heading, maintain 5,000. Present heading, 5,000, expect 26. 1479, I think you failed to call sign again, fly present heading, yeah. maintain 5,000. Mm. All right, American 1479, uh, present heading, 5,000, we'll expect 26. Thank you. <laughs> 1479, Scarborough, 10 o'clock, 14 miles, advising you get in sight, lower in just a minute. All right, it's in sight, American 1479. American 1479, turn left, heading to 290, intercept the 26 localizer, maintain 4000. 290 on the heading, maintain 4000, intercept 26 localizer, American 1479. American 1479, cleared visual approach, runway 26. I have a visual approach, American 1479. American 1479, clear visual approach, runway 26. Uh, we've got a communication bro. You're hearing this radio clear because I am saying what I need to say, but something's not happening. American 1479, you said cleared the approach. I need the runway assignment, which is runway 26, not 25 left or 25 right. You're cleared visual approach, <laughs> runway 26, and you're not reading it back correctly. Clear for the visual approach to runway 26, American 1479. 1479, <laughs> you phone number, you can call in and we can talk about the tapes, but you misread the last three transmissions without a call sign and without a runway assignment. 1479, do you need a phone number? <laughs> I'm not going to waste my time. American 1479, Connect kind of Tower 118.7. 1187, American 1. Four seven nine. <laughs> <laughs> Deary, mate. Phoenix Tower, American one four seven nine. Visual runway two six. Fourteen seventy nine. Phoenix Tower, runway two six. Clear to land. 
Clear the land for runway 26, American, <laughs> 1479. You okay? You seem very hostile. Skywalk 3158, turn left, taxi Bravo, Charlie, 11 to November, remain this frequency. Bravo, Charlie, 11 to November, this frequency, Skywalk 3158. You seem nice and kind. <laughs> <laughs> Sit back down. Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> there we go. American 1479, turn left at Bravo 6, taxi Charlie 6, Charlie to India, remain this frequency. All right, left Bravo, Charlie, Charlie 6, or excuse me, Charlie 6, Charlie to India with you, American 1479. 1479, thank you. I think I know you're frustrated. I have a possible pilot deviation. I advise you contact Phoenix Approach on 602-306. See why they probably get pissed with it. You know, it's uh, they've got to, they need clear instructions, don't they? Oh yeah, they need to know that the pilot from that plane has mm. heard the yeah. instructions mm. and is not someone. Yeah, because sometimes they have an open frequency, don't they? I think. Yeah, I don't know what that meant when he said pilot deviation. Mm. I get why you're no, frustrated because it sounded like a different voice. It did, didn't it? Yeah, like the first officer had taken over. Yeah, maybe he's put someone on the co-pilot or something, yeah. or because mm. there's one said, "Right, I'm not dealing with this guy anymore." <laughs> I don't think it was a different air traffic controller as well, wasn't it? Possibly. It sounded Possibly. slightly different. Yeah. So. I think they both decided to opt out on the... Yeah. I do like them, though. It's, it's good to listen to, isn't it? It's yeah. To see what goes on around the world. Yeah. I mean, yeah. At, at first, sometimes it's, they say things so quickly. I know. I just can't... It's always yeah. a bit... It's better in the end, don't you? Because they're saying it so slowly. Yeah, <laughs> but, yeah. yeah. But when they're first flying in there, it's like... Just... Blah, 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 blah. Saying it so quick. I guess they're so used to it. And all the code, different codes they use for you know, the runways and different airports yeah. and taxiways and stuff I'd be like, like that. I'd be like, what? What would you say? What would you, you say? Say it again. A bit slower. <laughs> Guess that's why you're not a pilot. No, I think that's probably the only reason, though. I'm sure. But yeah, good though. I enjoyed it. Yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed it as well. Don't forget like and subscribe. We'll see you on the next one. Cheers. Cheers.